Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be showing you how to install a GPU or graphics card in your PC. It's really quite simple to do. And the one we're gonna be installing today is this MSI Ventus 3X RTX 3060. So let's dive into it. So our first step is to make sure your computer is off. We'll switch off our power supply here and make sure that your power supply is unplugged from your PC. From there, we'll go ahead and remove our side panels on the PC. There's usually little screws that hold them in place. Be very careful if you're working with a glass sided PC case. And the same thing on the back side. mine has a couple of screws here, one here at the bottom and one here at the top on the back that need to be removed to remove the side panel. So we'll pull that off here as well. So now taking a look at my motherboard, I have two PCIe slots here, one here at the bottom and one here at the top. You would typically install your GPU on the top one. My top one is actually metal reinforced as well to help support the GPU. So I've got my GPU here and what we're trying to do is line up our connectors here with the PCIe port on our motherboard. We're trying to figure out which tabs we need to remove at the back of our PC so that our monitor connectors stick out the back of our PC. So we're just gonna line this up here. We'll put it up just like that and hold it in place. And I can see over here on the side which tabs I need to remove for my GPU to fit. So you can see I've already got two openings here. I've already had a GPU installed in this PC, but on my PC, I had these metal tabs. I just needed to wiggle them back and forth and they snapped out of place. Some PCs, you will need to use a screwdriver to unscrew a screw to get these out. So I also need to remove this little cover here on my PC. And again, every case, will be slightly different. This is held in with a Phillips screw and we'll remove that. This will give me access to be able to secure my GPU to the case. So before we install our GPU here on our PCIe port here, there's this little black tab here on the right hand side. We need to make sure that is pushed down. So it's just a tab that you push down like that. So your GPU will snap into place. We'll go ahead and grab our GPU and we're gonna hold it up in the correct direction and we're gonna line it up with that PCIe port. Make sure the IO or where you plug in your monitors is at the back there and it's all in the right direction. And I don't like to hold it by the fans. I try to hold it by the edge here and we're gonna line it up, make sure it's in place and then we're just gonna snap it into place and you should hear a click. Just like that, now it's in place. Now from here I have a little screw that came with my PC case. We're gonna go ahead and screw that in and secure our GPU right in place, just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this cover right back on over top of that as well. And you can see that the back of the GPU here lines up perfectly with those two cutouts on the back of my PC case. So from here, we need to wire our GPU. You can see my GPU has an eight pin connector. Some of them are six pin connectors. So let's flip our computer around and find the cable that plugs in there. So you may need to dig around in the wires down here by your power supply to find the cable. Mine is actually modular so I can add cables as I need. There's my PCIe cable. So you can see it's a six plus two, so that makes eight. And then there's actually a pigtail here, so I've got two of them on there. We're just gonna go ahead and take this cable and feed it through the bottom to the underside. I've got a little hole under here that we're gonna feed this through and it'll come out on the other side. So I've got the wire all fed through here. And again, this is a six or an eight pin connector. They kind of hold together and pop right into place like that. Once you figure out how they go, make sure that they line up properly with your connector there on your GPU. We're gonna line them up just like that. And then we're gonna give them a good push and they should snap right into place, just like that. And from there we can do some cable management and clean up all our wires. So go ahead and put your side panels back on your PC. And you can plug your monitors into the GPU. And of course your power supply right back in there. Turn on your power supply. We'll fire up our computer and get the drivers all set up. So the last step, and this is an important one, is to install the drivers for your graphics card. Again, I happen to have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060, so I'm gonna head on over to the NVIDIA website. I will have a link to this below in the description. Now, of course, if you're using an AMD graphics card, you're gonna to wanna to head over to AMD and download their drivers. 
Now, once you're in here, you can download the GeForce Experience right here. And once you've got that installed, it's gonna look something like this. You perhaps will see some of your games in there. But at the top, there's the drivers option and you should be able to download and install your drivers in here if it doesn't do it automatically for you. Now, if you do wanna do it manually, you can head on up to the drivers section here at the top and there's a automatic driver updates download here. You could do that or there's the manual driver search here. Just put in your graphics card information, hit start search, and all of your drivers should come up here for you to download. And it's really that simple to install a graphics card or GPU in your PC. So hope this tutorial was able to help you install your graphics card. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. I'd love to have you join the Northern Viking community. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.